Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Duamel Bentley, and I'm so excited because today we're gonna to be talking about Jeffree Star's Pink Religion Collection. I feel like we're gonna go into one of the most exciting palettes this company has. I think if, if this is the epitome of this company, the color pink and like how they do it and, and what they're doing, like everything about this collection screams Jeffree Star to me and I'm obsessed. I'm so excited that we were able to gather the items here and rub them for you guys so you guys could have some fun and check it out. And if you guys have questions of how anything works, uh, this video is gonna take care of that baby. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, girl, 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 hold up, hold up. Uh, there we go. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, sorry, honey, I felt like I was missing a little something. Uh, subscribe to the channel and let's go on with this review. So first and foremost, I want to talk about the palette, right? The palette is a superstar. There's a lot of really great things here, but this is the palette and you guys, First and foremost, I love how they're kind of conserving minimalistic within packaging, if that makes any sense for the outer cardboard box. Even though it is um, very minimalistic, it's just it's extravagant and it's beautiful. It has so much detail into it that it's just mesmerizing. I wish there was an opportunity for you guys to be able to see this in person because looking at the pictures and actually looking at it in person, it's two different stories. I love the cardboard, how it has the different finishes in it. Like it has, it just feels so, so good. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics, it's like, like almost iridescent. It's just beautiful. Like this is crazy. And I just, I love the fact that Jeffree Star Cosmetics, every single time they launch something, is something that you want for your collection because it's nothing you've seen before, right? So beautiful, um, stampage for this particular collection it's kind of like that what, what do you call that the glass the glasses in church um or i know it has a, a name i think it's like singing glass or something like that um but this is just stunning it is beautiful like they outdid themselves with this collection and just everything the detail of everything is just so beautiful so let's go ahead and pull it out of the little um baby little um cardboard and uh, again, I just wish you could see this in person and touch it and feel it. It's it's something extraordinary. Like it creates, it, it, first and foremost, when you grab it, it feels just really good. It feels so, so nice and soft. I love the fact that there's, even though it's pink, it has dimensions of the pink. We have, you know, more of a deeper, rosier vintage pink coming into a bubblegum pink. Then, you know, the, the actual logo and the pink religion name is it, it's with that iridescent kind of tone. So it's almost like a lighter beigey pink. It's just stunning. It's beautiful. There's just no other description other than to say that they outdid themselves with this packaging. This is a piece of art period for makeup it is groundbreaking but for cosmetics this is stunning this is something most definitely not everybody's doing and i just i love it i really do uh packaging is just i i just don't have any other words to express it other than saying you know it's just it's beautiful it feels so so good and um it just doesn't do it any justice in camera uh versus having it in person with you it's just Wow, 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 wow. Now, opening it up, as you know, um, you know, they differ they normally have different types of layouts for their shadows, but in this case, it's like a book. Um, let's take this guy off here. There are 18 shadows here, which is really, really lovely. And the 18th shadows, four of them are gonna be the metallic finish, and then the 14th that are left over is the luxury matte formula which is just really, really nice. I really love the color selection here, but I'm going to be honest, I expected it to be a little bit more pink. I, I don't know why I felt like this company, you know, running with like a pink palette, I would expect there to be like a lot more pink presence. I feel like there's pink presence, but there's also a lot, a lot of berry tones, uh, lavender, kind of purple tones. And I mean, they're beautiful. They'll be complimentary and they'll look incredible. But again, I just, I kind of thought that I was gonna see more pink. I, I it's cute, beautiful. 
It's a beautiful color story, but well, I guess we'll have to play and see. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe these shadows look a little bit more purple. And then when we swatch it, maybe it might be a little bit pinker. I'm not quite sure about that. Now, this 18 pan palette here, if you subdivide all of the shadows for the cost, you're roughly paying $2 and some change for the shadows, which is just a really, really good deal for how beautiful the quality of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics is lines are. I have not had the opportunity to try this but I'm doing it here in front of you guys. So I'm super, super stoked. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's start with the swatches here. Hey guys, these are the first four swatches of the palette here. And starting off with the bottom one, I have here Princess Crown. Beautiful, beautiful tone. It's almost like a frosty pink. It has um, like a pearly golden uh, like first view, but when you kind of move it around, it's a lot more on the pink side. Then of course, after that we have Saint Star. Really creamy, really velvety shadow. I felt so happy when I touched it. I was like, oh, I know it's gonna be really good to work on the eye. Then after that we have this beautiful metallic pink frosted tone, and that's called Frosting Colt. Is it Frosting Colt? Hold on, we got a little bit of... Yeah, Frosting Colt. There we go, honey. Frosting Colt, and it's just, it felt so good too. Like, this is, like, if, if this is giving me anything, this is going to be an amazing palette. The feel and, the, and just the pigment that kind of, like, I'm not sure if maybe the camera picks it up as well, but just... Even this light one, you can you can see it's just nice and consistent, which is really nice. And then last one here we have is Pink Religion, which is, of course, the name of the entire collection. So I definitely am going to have to incorporate that in the look of today. But just stunning. Really beautiful first uh, row. I think that this first one, which is Prince's Crown, could be a beautiful highlight or inner corner highlight. Just really nice. And I... I I love how velvety they are. So the next set of swatches are here and starting off from the bottom, we have Strawberry Youth. Really beautiful tone. It's very rich, very pigmented. I'm definitely gonna have to use that one as well. Next to that one, we have Sugar Savior, which is gonna be that middle beautiful mauve -y tone. I love mauve eyeshadows and this is definitely gonna be an amazing one to go to. And again, the, they just, they feel so smooth. Oh my God. So after that, we have Prom Night, which is this kind of second to last. Prom Night is stunning. It's so beautiful. It's so vibrant. It's definitely very lollipop, very bubblegum. So if you're looking for that beautiful, vibrant pink tone, that's your girl right there. I also love about it that it was it doesn't look patchy. None of the pinks that are kind of more my vibrant um, look patchy or dry. This is just, it feels incredibly smooth, which is really nice. Then the last one that we have on the top there is called Diva. Now Diva is Jeffree Star's first uh, Pomeranian. I, if I'm not mistaken, he's like a Pomeranian mixed in with like a uh, fox. Um, we had Pomeranians, unfortunately, that we don't no longer have our boys. Listen, gods of the pink and the purple, shine your lights on me. I need to look like a fucking bitch. So fucking amazing. Up next, we have these beautiful, beautiful tones here. We're going now more into the purple vibe. Um, after Diva, we have the Lollipop Luxury, which is going to be the middle kind of tone up here. Then after that, we have... Jeffrey's World, which is this bottom shade right here. Then Candy Cathedral, which is a really beautiful name for this incredibly beautiful fuchsia, like monochrome, wet looking, beautiful shadow. And then last but not least, we have Pink Fever. Beautiful, just so beautiful. So these are the next swatches on the hands here. And again, they're just really, really beautiful. Even though that, again, these are not the most pinkish kind of tones in here, I will say that all of the tones in here have a pink underlay. So even though like, let's say for example, Beauty Killer, which we'll, I'll point out in a second, you'll see that it's it's definitely not pink pink, but it has a very, very pink under, like a pink core, a pink base, a pink juice. You know what I'm saying? So the bottom one here is Beauty Killer, which is just a stunning pink, just like interesting fresh meat type of tone. 
Then after that, you have Holy Fire, which is gonna be this beautiful shade that I'm so, so stoked about. Then we have Fashion Faith, which is this beautiful purple tone in the kind of second to last order. And then last but not least, we have Handbag Queen. Such a beautiful tone. This one does look to be a little bit uh, more on the drier side, but you know, it's still very, very smooth. It's honestly like, it feels so velvety just touching it, but I felt that one just a little bit drier and maybe it's because of like how much pigment there is in there. I'm definitely assuming there's gonna be some red pigment and usually when the drier, the drier the shadow is, the more of a direct pigment it is rather than a shadow. So let me wipe my hands and then let's go to the last swatches and uh, let's get into this look, honey, because we got more to talk about. All right, guys, so these are the last two shades on the palette here. We're gonna start up with the pink shade and that's called Dull House Lane. And then underneath that we have, it's an interesting lavender gray, it's just really interesting moody shade. And and this one's here called Vatican Vanity, which is just really interesting, really different. I don't think I have a shadow like this. Now, I will note that uh, these guys will stain your eyes. Now, if you've never used a pigment that has stained your eyes before, what I would best advise you is to, number one, hydrate really well before applying these pigments. Number two, when you're utilizing your primer, make sure you have a good amount of priming on your eyes and it's pretty even, right? To make sure that we're not having more splotchier stains. Then when you're done with that, what I best advise you is to remove your makeup with an oil cleanser. You wanna make sure that you're removing it and kind of just letting it do its thing for a little bit. Then once you're removing, if you are still stained, this is nighttime, of course, you're going to go ahead and grab a nice hydrating oil or like coconut oil, things like that that you might have around your house. And then just apply it very gently, girl, before you know it, the next morning, you'll be fresh as a daisy. And this is just gonna be like, oh, all right. Usually I've never had to do that with any pink eyeshadow or anything like so, but washing on my hands with no primer, there was no moisturizer nor anything, it definitely stained them. And you can see my fingers, have been um, going through a little bit of, of good juice, but most definitely those are some really great tips for you to kind of battle staining if that does happen to you. Now we're going to start talking about the beautiful sacred glass, you guys. This is what got me to want this incredible palette. Number one, why haven't I ever seen this beautiful glass in pink? Like this needs to happen in real life, number one. Number two, this is such an exciting launch for me. I have wanted the um, Extreme Frosts forever, but if it was one thing, if it was another, blah, 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 yeah, 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 I could never get them. And like when this came out, I was just like, oh my God, yes. I was just so mesmerized. I never thought I would love it so much. Number one, this looks like a little jewelry box. It feels like something expensive and luxurious. Something from royalty is coming in here. It is so nice and like well constructed that if you close it, you're like, that's all. It's like everybody and their mother will be like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, baby. But when you open it, it just, it's like you can hear, I know that's gonna sound ridiculous, but you can hear, you can hear like the, that could be like that or less dramatic. It, it just depends on you. But I feel like I'm like, my heart's like, oh, oh, uh, yes. It's just an immediate proposal, right? This is just so beautiful. Like the detail is just so well constructed. I love, love the color selection, the sacred glass kind of stamped in gold. And then the hot pink component is just beautiful. And then of course we have the crown that kind of follows this beautiful um, frost selection here. Now, this one in particular is going to run for $62. Now, if we subdivide the actual like discs of tone, this guy here is gonna be $20 and some change a piece, which is a really great deal to be able to kind of hound and grab so many different ones in like one kind of go, which is why I was like, I need it. Like this is my opportunity to do this. Now, Pearly Gates 
It is a marbleized effect blending icy white sparkles with white soft pink pearl sparkles. They're just really, really, really beautiful, guys. Pink Purity is a pure fuchsia pink sparkles. And as you can see here, it's just so, so beautiful. This is incredible for all skin tones. It really looks phenomenal. You can really decide how much or how little of it you want on your skin, which is something that I absolutely love. Now, moving on to the Glass Supper. It is an effortless melting blend of rose gold sparkles to gold sparkles. So this is going to be a formula perfect for all complexions, but for those complexions that love a rose gold, but you're not the biggest fan of like that dark rose gold cast, this is gonna be iconic for you to use this and have that beautiful like do and reflection without compromising depth on the face, which is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. When I first opened this, I was like, oh, like, I really am not exaggerating. I was like, this is everything and more than I expected. So I'm really, really excited to have this in the collection because if anything, if I had to pick and choose anything, I would be really nervous, but this would definitely be a very strong contender for sure. Moving on to the Velvet Trap lipsticks. These guys are so, so beautiful. Now they are $18 a piece. You can, if they do have bundles available for the collection, you can get them in a bundle. I was able to get three of them and I am so excited to show you. First and foremost, let's talk about the bullets. The bullets are just incredible. I can't believe that they continue to play around with the color of these bullets and, and just really mesmerize you know us, the client, every single time like this is just so beautiful it's so cute so chic i feel like i'm at a barbie's like house trying to put on some lipstick and i'm so down for it right now of course it has a jeffree star logo you know it's just really beautiful the shade that i'm going to show you now is holy fashion and it's just such a beautiful beautiful tone of course i cannot talk enough about the stampage of the stars with this beautiful bullet it is one of the main reasons why i purchased it because it's just so so beautiful like it's such an aesthetically pleasing tone now holy fashion here is going to be a soft tone pink to me, it looks a little bit more like a beautiful soft mauve, but you know, most definitely the description is a soft pink, uh, beautiful nonetheless. Another one that is so beautiful, again, packaging is just like, I'm done with this, it's so beautiful. Um, but this one here is Cult of Roses. Now Cult of Roses is such a beautiful wearable tone for all complexions. This would look so, so stunning on rich complexions, on, you know, creamy complexions, like on warm to cool complexions, like, you know, it really, it's a beautiful, beautiful color and it's pairable with so many lip liners. Now, this one in particular here is a soft watermelon and uh, the name is just making me thirsty and hungry. But this guy here is just so, so beautiful, so romantic. And, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for them. Now, last lip product that I got here is God's Gift. Now, the reason why I selected God's Gift is because, as you can see here, I have been utilizing it just a little bit. Of course, I've been trying to put these guys on, um, you know, of course, on a trial basis, baby, before I come over and um, talk about them. But this guy is such a beautiful, creamy formula. I love the fact that you can create, not if you want to go for a bold lip and do, you know, things that you need to do with a white, go for it. But if you want to lighten up this beautiful nude tone lip or this beautiful paint color or this brown, whatever, if you want to make your lipsticks more customizable, God's gift is really, really Jeffree Star's gifts to like us, Jeffree Star Cosmetics user and makeup users in general. It is so beautiful. I am obsessed with it and I am excited. I have been trying it. I've been playing around a lot with it to really understand it and have a good relationship with it because sometimes I just find nudes that I'm just like, this is so beautiful, but I wish it was a little bit lighter. And bling, there you go, honey. 
Thanks. Um, I'll check too. <laughs> All right, but those are the lipsticks here. Beautiful, stunning shades. I wish I would have been able to grab all of them, but we have what we have and we'll celebrate it whilst we have it. All right. Okay. Now, of course, and we can't um, deny a conversation without this beautiful piece of art. Oh my gosh. This is incredible this is stunning 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 yes honey you guessed it it's stunning it, it, number one is 30 dollars right um they're definitely collectibles for a lot of people um this is just beautiful beautiful shaping for the face it does not feel small it doesn't feel like you're confined into the shape it's just really really nice for also the way of the of the product itself it's just really in control it's not it doesn't really feel like it's going left right down center it just feels really controlled all throughout and actually this is one of the great things about this beautiful mirror is that their construction is well thought out for that like for example they do micro welding throughout the mirror to make sure that it's not going to pop off you know plastic sometimes or whatever material, acrylic, whatever they're using, could sometimes, you know, pop off. You know, we're putting it out, moving around, doing things like this, you know. Hey, how are you? You know, we need to make sure these are all approved. So they do micro welding, which essentially is like they go, baby, and like glue it together, like melt it together so it will not come off. And I've got to be honest, I've never had any Jeffree Star cosmetics really kind of fall off in general, but these are really, really nice for that. And of course, they also made sure that measurement wise for it to feel good, for it to, you know, kind of weigh out in your hand well, you know, they have that measuring uh, centered for you, which is just really, really nice. So. They're not only beautiful, they're not only fun, but they're also comfortable to the grip and clearly very long lasting. Now I will note that this is fairly new and this particular color has some chips here, uh, you know, in the bottom area. Uh, but you know, other than that, you know, it, it's held up pretty, pretty well. It's, it's stunning. Like this is such a beautiful mirror. When I saw this, I was just like, we're done through finito like molte venezia i don't even know what i'm saying but i loved it and i had to take it honey it was what it was and of course of course honey i had to do a little bit of flexing um we got the pink bag which i am dying over i am still in the in the slow cooker simmering in that jacuzzi drinking whatever they drink inside of like crock pots you know honey but this is just gorgeous it's so beautiful i'm so excited now this particular product i got in the first ever jeffree star pop-up shop in los angeles and if you haven't seen that video i'll make sure to link it down below so you can enjoy the experience see all of the beautiful unique items that we were able to get our hands on and honey <clears throat> there is a giveaway and um, there is still time. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel, check that video out, binge watch, it is a thing. And um, best of luck with the beautiful giveaway because I'm really, really excited. Now let's get into this look, honey, because <clears throat> I gotta get pinkified. I have my backpack, my, my track suit, and the attitude. So starting off today's look, I have primed my eyes with P. Louise and Extra Spicy. I said to myself, now is the time, honey. Now is the time. I don't think I'm helping the, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics' is, um, eyeshadows by adding more pink into it. Honey, trust me, I, they're pigmented enough. They're pigmented enough for me not to need to, to use extra pinks. But I have it and I said, when is the time if not now, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start grabbing a packing brush and I'm gonna grab the Saint Star shade, which is the lightest shade in the palette here. And I'm just gonna use that as kind of like a base. Now picking up, it's picking up pretty well. Um, hopefully there's not too, too much fallout. I feel like the only palette I've had from Jeffree Star Cosmetics that has had some, some major fallout, um, instances has been, um, the, um, the nude one, honey, the nude one, which is one of my favorites, but the fallout there, baby, baby, it's real. <laughs> So 
So now that my lids are satin starred, um, I'm loving how this is looking just very vibrant, very beautiful. Um, this is a really, really cute color. And again, it just, it worked like that. What I'm gonna go off with next is, let me see, cause I don't even know what I'm doing here. I think I'm gonna go off with next, um, Prom night. Let's do prom night. I feel like that'll be a cute one to go in the crease. So now that I've added prom night, I kind of extended it out a little bit because most definitely, you know, I like to go a little bit more extravagant with my pigments. But this guy is working really, really well. Like I'm really shocked at how beautiful and pigmented both of them have been so far. And again, I don't think it's the primer because I mean, I've used so many different primers um, and usually I try my best to stick to the color of the shadow of the primer, just to intensify the color a little bit more. Um, but this guy is just, it just looks really, really nice and smooth and very, very pigmented. So I think I'm gonna go in next with um, Pink Religion to define the crease a little bit more. Now that I've added the Pink Religion to the outer corners of the eye, kind of creating more of a dimension coming out to the pink, I'm gonna grab Jeffree's World, which is a fuchsia, bright, kind of pinkish, iridescent tone. I don't, it's interesting, because it's a fuchsia, but it's a little bit more more purple. And I'm just gonna kind of intensify the outer wing. Going back into the outer pocket of the crease, I'm gonna go in and dip my brush into Diva. <laughs> Okay, so I think the crease has been worked on a little bit now and I kind of want to move away from it. I want to grab um, Sugar Savior and I'm going to very gently, very, very gently. And I'm going to start kind of buffing it in when the brow starts. <laughs> I want to hop into Strawberry Youth, grabbing a nice little fluffy packing brush. I'm going to grab Strawberry Youth and I'm going to start kind of building it and melting it. Now that I have um, Strawberry Youth in kind of the center of my eye, I'm going to go in and grab a different packing kind of fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with Beauty Killer, which is a little bit more of a plum um, grape tone. I feel like that's going to add a beautiful intensity to the kind of outer corner. <music> Okay, now that both of those are on, they're looking really beautiful. Um, I'm kind of like looking into the vision of what we're doing. And I think I wanna do a baby cut crease just to add a little bit of the shimmers in there. There's a lot of really beautiful ones, so I'm not sure exactly which one will I do. But um, let me see, do I wanna add something else? I 
I feel like I wanna add a little bit, just to use it, a Vatican vanity, just a little bit, kind of stretching it out, just to create a little bit of smoke. I think that'll be really nice. <music> Now, grabbing a little bit of Lollipop Luxury, I'm gonna kind of start smoothing and softening things out a little bit. Okay guys, so what I've done is I balanced back out the lines. I felt like this was kind of different and kind of cute. And um, I think I'm gonna do a grunge end to the eye. I went ahead and lined my eye, my waterline actually, with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Gold Digger. And this is in da -da 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 -da, the Automatic Eyeliner. And this is so good, this is so, so good. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a da -da -da -da, handbag queen. And I'm gonna kind of start smoking the bottom here. Now grabbing the sugar savior, I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush and kind of diffuse what I have on the bottom. This is Pearly Gates here. All right, you guys, so this is the final look here. And as you can see, the dough is beaming, honey. I decided to go a little rogue on the lips because I felt like the options that I had for my lips were a little strong for the eye look that I have going on. So I said, you know what, let's scratch that. Let's go just with a basic nude. I did add a little bit of Cult of Roses in the center here just to give me a little bit of rosiness on the lips. And it's just so beautiful. Now for the lip liner, I have Allegedly by Jeffree Star Cosmetics as well. Just gorgeous, overall beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the eye look and the whole kind of gang. Um, I did have a lot of fun getting all of this together for you and I'm kind of surprised because I never thought that this was going to be like what was happening. But I'm really happy about it. Everything worked really, really beautiful. I mean, if you guys are wondering if you should get this amazing collection, 100%, 100%. Just alone, the packaging of the Bible, it is iconic everything and its mother it's just beautiful like it's such a beautiful palette easy to work with you know it's just it's great it was really good it was really good i really did enjoy it this is also really really good the lips i'm a little bit sad that we couldn't get all of the tone in there But hopefully with the little bits that we're putting, you guys can tell. Yeah, just, you know, cute little moment right there. Overall, everything worked really well. A little trick that I had to do with um, the sacred glass. Um, I just went ahead and applied it with my finger and then just softened out the edges um, with my handy dandy trusted you know beautiful brush but this was great i really did love this i don't love the whole mirror there it's just too small hey guys well if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel don't forget that in the jeffree star cosmetics unboxing for the first ever pop-up shop in los angeles there is a giveaway and i would love for you to join the giveaway join the dufay nation and um, leave a comment down below what was your fave what did you love what did you hate would you get it what wouldn't you get let me know the tea honey and um bitch watch it is a thing i will catch you on the next one bye